But Grindr made a very cool video with the running questions. Are influencers ruining the hobby? The FPV hobby, of course. If you haven't seen it yet, please do. It will help you understand some things. The link to the video should be linked somewhere, most probably in the description of this one. Anyhow, back to the topic of the influencers. And are they really ruining the hobby? First of all, let's ask the question of what an influencer really is. An influencer is someone who has the power to affect the purchasing decision of others because of his or her authority, knowledge, position or relationship with his or her audience. Why people become influencers or rather want to become an influencer? Because, let's be honest, it is a pretty cool job. You do nothing, you promote stuff and you get paid. Plus, as a bonus, it's a pretty nice feeling to know that you have some kind of the authority over others. Yeah, it is. I know it. Affiliate marketing, selling own products, and who hasn't heard about the million dollar bucks deals between influencers and big brands? It's almost like a dream job. Thousand dollars for the Instagram post? Sure, why not? Let's go. However, here comes a twist. Let me tell you something brave yet controversial. In RC and FPV hobby, we have no influencers. We have only wannabes and influencers from Wish. Feel offended? <laughs> Don't be. It's absolutely okay to admit it. I admit it. I wanted to be an influencer and I failed. At one point of my life, I wanted to be a full-time YouTuber to influence people and make a living out of it. But life and it's never going to happen. Okay, disclaimer time. After all, there are some real influencers in the RC and FPV, but only a few. Those would be, according to me, Bardwell, Flight Test, Rotor Riot and most probably Mr. Steel. Don't you think it's funny that from the list I just told you, only two are persons and other two are just companies. Interesting. Why only those? Well, the definition of the influencer I just quoted is missing one of the aspects. If you are not able to make a living from being an influencer, you are not really an influencer. It's a job. You should be able to live from your job. If you're not, it's only a hobby. And now, Revelation time. Being an influencer is the expensive ordeal. You don't become one from the day zero. You have to earn it, you have to work for it, you have to invest in yourself, you have to invest in the hardware, your skills, cameras, audio, presence and everything like that. And it costs shitload of time or time and money. Plus, at one point, you cannot be a one-man army. You have to hire others to help you be an influencer, at least a video editor, at least, most probably, much more people. You won't be writing your own scripts when you are a crazy famous guy. And then, how much money you should earn to really be an influencer, a full-time, I don't know, Instagrammer, YouTuber, or just a famous person that promotes products to others and influence them to buy things. This is very subjective. I know that average salary in the United States is approximately $6,000. But do remember that, well, your career most probably won't last forever. You have to earn enough to pay others. You have to earn enough to upgrade everything that you do and you have to save something for your retirement. How much is it? Like I said, it depends. For me, most probably it would be at least $10,000 after taxes when I would be able to say, okay, I'm a successful influencer and I can quit my day job and like influence people to buy crap. Yeah. I know, it's super nice when the hobby pays for itself, but then it's not really enough to say that you are living from influencing others. So, 10,000 bucks after taxes. Here comes the best part. How can you earn 10,000 bucks monthly 
in this hobby while producing materials, videos, Instagram posts, I don't know, TikToks, videos, <sighs> with the content that is related to RC and FPV. You have several options and let's begin with the most obvious one, the YouTube ads. No, you will not earn 10,000 bucks with the YouTube ads. This is just absolutely impossible. Taking into the consideration of how much YouTube pays for views, you would have to be able to pull approximately 2 million views, paid views, every month on your materials. But most probably it will be slightly closer to 5 million views. Guess, how many of the RC and FPV YouTubers are able to pull such numbers? Most probably none. One and only Bardwell, most probably the most recognizable guy in the RC and FPV hobby, usually is able to get 1 to 1.5 million views per month. So no, ads will not help you pay your bills. The other option is Patreon and other services like that. Here, with the average patronage of approximately 4 bucks monthly, you would have to have two and a half thousand active patrons. And trust me, this is a lot. Yes, Bardwell meets the criteria. Anybody else? Then comes the clue of the clue of the influencer, the affiliate marketing. And affiliate marketing was great 2018. For the last few years, it's basically dead, non-existent, and you get almost nothing from making people buy crap. No, after people stopped buying from China, it's no longer really a viable option. And even with the commission of 5%, you would have to be able to generate $200,000 of sales monthly to get those $10,000 as your compensation from being an influencer. $200,000 of sales from your RC and FPV content monthly. How many drones or flight controllers that is? Do the math. I did. It's a lot. You can also sell your own products, like, I don't know, your own frames, maybe some e-books, maybe, you know, something like that, with definitely much higher margin. But one more time, you would have to sell a lot, a lot to make a living and be able to call yourself a real influencer in this hobby. Brand deals? Yeah, a revelation. There are no really big brands in this hobby that are willing to pay you the money you expect. No, uh-uh, ain't gonna happen. And by the way, getting a drone from someone to make a review is not really a brand deal. And of course, the final option is only fans. But well, I can with the 99% probability say that nobody would buy your pictures. Because I know you are not a pretty girl showing this and that for money. Maybe the reverse only fans would be an option when people would have to pay you money so you stop sending them pictures. That's an idea, but uh -uh, I never heard about service like that yet. At the end, the reality is that we have a super niche hobby with basically no money inside. That means being an influencer over here is so goddamn hard. The whole hobby and only a few guys are able to make a living out of it. The majority of channels in our niche are here only because the guys that are running them like doing what they're doing. They are not really doing this for the money because there is no money in the RC and FPV hobby when you are just making videos on the YouTube. Yes, you can have your own business that is related to this hobby, but no, most probably creating videos won't be it. So as long as the author do not shield too much and is not really trying to sell you total and utter crap, cut them some slack. They are, we are, not getting rich from affiliate links. The affiliate marketing for RC and FPV is basically that. I basically stopped putting affiliate links under my videos. It makes 
no sense at all. But yes, Bot Grinder is 100% correct. Not every drone is the best. Not every drone is the drone of the month. Not everything that you are watching a review on the YouTube is something that is really the best. Anyhow, that's all what I've got. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like all always happy flying damn that was one long video if you're still here thank you very much highly appreciated